Hey guys, we're here at Mary Jane's headquarters. I'm Taylor, the manager, and today we're gonna to be showing you how to dab, and more correctly, how to do it properly. So this video is for anyone who is either dab curious, dab inexperienced, or who's never really got the satisfaction they're looking for out of a dab. This is supposed to be a great experience where you get lots of flavor and a really smooth high. Dabbing is gonna be vaporizing some form of concentrate. So that can be shatter, butter, wax, diamonds, etc. By doing dabs, you're getting the least amount of particulates or carcinogens into your lungs. You're also having the smoothest, most flavor enhanced experience, and you get to taste those sweet terpenes, which is the best part of cannabis. So there's sort of two main ways to get started in the dabbing world. The first way is gonna be with an actual dab rig. Now glass is gonna be your best friend for cannabis. It's the easiest to clean, it's the best for flavor. However, e-pens are another great option. What they give you is portability, convenience, and a lack of torches and breakable items. So there's also an upside, but they do hinder flavor. So first let's start with the rig and what are the basics you're gonna to need to get dabbing. First and most importantly, you're going to need dabs. Secondly, you're going to need a dab tool to get those dabs into your rig. Then you're going to need your glass rig plus a quartz banger. Then you'll also need a carb cap and that's going to keep all your dabs inside your rig. Then you'll need a torch to heat up those dabs. Lastly, cleaning supplies, isopropyl alcohol and Q-tips. Those are going to be your best friends to keep your rig nice and shiny clean. Today we're going to be rocking Purple Hills Lemon Pepper Batter. It's a live resin and this is a premium product. So this is going to be a little more high end than what you'd see on the basic shelves. So let's start with how much to start with. You want to start really small, just enough to coat that dab tool. Even this might be a little bit ambitious, so start real small. So today I've got my lovely assistant here who's going to be actually Actually showing you how to dab. I'm gonna be talking you through what we're gonna be doing which is cold starting and cold starting is gonna be one of the simplest ways to get dabbing without risking scorching your nail your product or having a really unpleasant time. With the cold starts you're not gonna to need to go through all the excess steps that other videos would have you do with timers etc. Just get your dab ready get our carb cap on top and now we're ready to go. And what we're gonna be doing is torching the bottom of here. Your dab's gonna melt and then start to bubble. And the second that you see a little hit of vapor, you know that you're good to go. And the benefit to this is that you're not gonna end up overcooking your product, you're not gonna have scorch lines on your banger, and also you're gonna get the maximum terpene activation. A lot of people will tell you that terpenes are activated at a much higher temperature, but really most of them are activated under 400 degrees as opposed to above 500. So now that your dab's all set up, you can take it away from here. That's good. Tastes delicious. <laughs> but no cough? See? That was really good. You might have turned me into a illegal market girl. <laughs> so now that you've taken your dab, the next step is to clean your rig. And the importance of this is not only that it keeps your glass nice and shiny, but also that it's gonna not impact future flavors and future dabs. You want a fresh start every time so you can always taste that terpene goodness. So grab your Q-tips, grab your ISO, clean out any of that excess material, and then you're ready to go again. But wait about 15 minutes because this dab's gonna hit you. This is potent stuff. It's meant to do a good job. And the best part about cold starting is that most of the time, because there's no burnt bits, there's no black char, you can just clean this out with a Q-tip without even needing the ISO. Now that our rig's clean, we can set this aside and we can talk about our electric pen. Now with these, there's a lot less work to go through. You're gonna do your five clicks to turn it on. Once it's on, you're just gonna load your dab into this top chamber here. Not a lot of work to do. The only downside to this guy is it might not taste as good as it did coming out of that beautiful glass rig. And just hold that button and you're ready to dab. So the main benefits of using the pen is it's nice and portable, it fits in your pocket, it's easy to take around, you don't have to worry about torches, you don't have to worry about breaking glass. The only downside is 
not as good of a flavor as you're gonna get from that pure glass rink. But otherwise, it's a great convenient option and quite affordable for starters. So now that you know that dabbing's not as intimidating as you might have assumed, you know that there's a lot of benefits to jumping into the world of dabs. The main reason you wanna go into dabs is that you can actually taste your weed. It's not just gonna taste like something burnt going into your lungs, but instead you're gonna get those beautiful terpene profiles. And the great way of thinking about this is this is like fine wine or scotch. So you really wanna appreciate it and get the best money's worth out of your weed. But thanks again for watching, and now that you know how to dab and what products you're gonna need, you can buy all these products and more through www.maryjaneshq.com. We ship all throughout Canada and other parts of North America, and you can also come into our store and deal with our friendly staff in person. And because we're so appreciative of you watching this video on how to dab today, you can use the promo code HIGHLIFE, that's all one word, HIGHLIFE, and you'll receive a 15% discount on our website. Like and subscribe the video or check out Sessions High Life, and there's many more videos to come.